This video will assist you with setting up the user code and username information for your printer so that you can print to the multifunction copiers located within your building. The first step we need to do is click on the Windows icon in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Click on the Windows icon and on the next screen don't click on anything else but just type in the word devices. Once you type in the word devices you should be presented with the devices and printers option. Go ahead and click on that. At this point I'm presented with all the printers and devices that are associated with my account. For some clarification because we've had some confusion on this I'd like to explain how our naming conventions work for printers. So for example Gull HS is obviously Gull Lake High School, Gull MS would be Middle School, KE would be Kellogg, etc. The following four digits represent the location or the room in which the printer is located or copier, this being room 1300 at the high school, followed by a one digit code for whether it's a multifunction device, a B being a black and white printer, or one here, C here being a color copier or printer. So M for multifunction, B for black and white, C for color, followed by how many printers are in that particular room. Most will be followed by 01 as we typically will only have one printer or copier in a room. For our example here, I'm going to right click, again right click on my 1300 room printer and set that one up as my copier of choice. So I'm going to right click, select printing preferences. On the printing preferences screen we have several areas we need to go into. First let's change the job type from normal print to locked print. This will prevent the copier from just printing out my document but allow me to walk up to the copier so that I can key in my code before it starts to print for confidentiality. Select lock print and then the details button. For your user ID just put in the computer user ID you use when you log in in the morning. So for me it's tnewsmer. For the password enter your user code for the copier. Click OK. Now we need to go to the Detailed Settings tab up here at the top. And we're going to click on Job Setup, kind of hidden here. Job Setup, and then User Code down here again. This is the copier user code, so enter your five digit number there. Once that has been completed, click on OK and you should be able to print now. You will need to do this for any additional multifunction copiers you need to print to within your building or the school district. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a ticket and we will get with you as soon as we can. Thanks.